hello and welcome back to another tutorial video in this video i'm going to show you how you can create room legends such as this using revit if this is your first time joining this channel welcome my name is grant and in this channel we dish out interesting architecture related content so do well to hit the like button subscribe to our channel don't forget to share this video and turn on the bell icon so that you get notified when next we publish a new video before further ado let's jump right into the video Welcome back. So I'm going to be making use of this project in today's tutorial video to show you how you can successfully create your room tags in Revit. Now for us to get started, all we need to do is to duplicate this view. Now you can see this view is the DPC one. So we right click on it and we click on duplicate. Now we are not going to duplicate with detailing or as a dependent because we don't want it to come with all the dimensions. We just want it to be plain and simple. Then you click on duplicate only. Then it automatically duplicates the view. Then you can see how it looks now. Then if you don't want all this wall hatching, you can change that. So you click on this wall, we right click, override graphics in view by category. That is to select all the walls. And you change this pattern that we have here. You take it down to solid fill black. And you just change this, no override. And you click on OK. And it automatically changes all your wall to black now that we have gotten our walls the way we want now the next thing is to start placing our rooms so we click on this room icon here and we place the room at this point now you can see the room comes with the the area of the space so you click on it you also click at this point you also click at this point you also click here we also place a room here. We also place another one here. We also place one at the entrance. Okay. And we place one room here. Here. And here. Okay. Now, now that we have successfully placed all our room spaces, now the next thing we need to do is to make sure we arrange them properly now as you can see this room you can see the the area it is bounding you can hover around this point till you see the area uh, this room is bounding but for you to be able to see the areas without uh, hovering around the point because this is is a little bit difficult now for you to search for this point so that you know okay this room is bounded by these walls for you to be able to do that you just have to click your vg on your keyboard and it brings out this uh, visibility graphics for you then you scroll down to where you have your rooms where you have your rooms now you can see these rooms you click on this plus to open and you see interior fill you make sure you check interior fill and you click on ok so it automatically fills the space so you know okay this is where this room is bounding this is where this room is bounding this is where this room is bounding and so on then you can see this living room is bounding all the way to this point but we do not want it to look like that so we need to create some separation because here is the living room here is the dining and here is the foyer so we need to create that separation and what we need to do is to click on this room separator right here and we separate the both of them so we separate this one with the room separator and we also separate this one with the room separator now you see we have created ourselves two extra spaces that we are going to add our room tags to and now the next one you can see here we have not enclosed you can see we have our area of the space here we have area of the space here we have area of the space here but for this balcony we have not enclosed because there is no wall bounding it so that is where this room separator also comes in so we just make sure we bound it all around the points that we want so once we are done now you can see it has a uh, an area given to it now then we also do the same thing for the entrance at this point we also bound the entrance at this point and we are automatically have our area given to it so once we are done with this let's adjust this very well to the center here okay then once we are done with this we need to create two more room spaces so we go back to our architecture under the room and we select it and we place a room tag here and also another room tag at this point okay 
now this is it you have successfully placed all your room tag okay so now that we are done placing our rooms now we can just rename the rooms if we want now you can see if you want to change this you can click on it and you name this let's say we name this our kitchen okay you can see that's automatically changed and let's name this our maid room okay now you can see it has automatically changed let's name this bathroom okay now let's name this balcony okay then this is our dining okay this is our store okay then we have our lift then this is our staircase okay then we have our visitors toilet and our foyer then this is another the entrance let's use e n c for the entrance okay then the living room okay so now that we are done naming the spaces we can go back and click on vg on our system on our keyboard and go back to the rooms and turn off <laughs> now go back to the rooms and turn off our interior fill click ok and the interior fill is gone because we are done uh, creating all our room tags so now that we have successfully created the room tags all we need to do is to fill it with colors now how do we do that so all we need to do is to come under the annotate tool and we see color fill legend we click on color fill legend and we place it here we change this to rooms and we change this to by room name we click on ok and it has automatically applied the colors for us now we can see this by room name legend this is not what we want we just want to name it room legend so we can make edits to this and also make edits to any room that we don't like the color let's say for this kitchen i want to change the edits i can just click on this click on edit scheme and you can see this by room name legend here let's take out the name and take out the by okay good then we have just room legend then now you can check change the color scheme for the kitchen so we can okay look now we are having a whole lot of uh, room spaces that we did not create now this is where some people get issues so i'm going to show you how to fix that now you can see a lot of room spaces that we didn't create now let us fix that so we click on ok and our room legend automatically changed to the what we want it to be which is room legend now for us to solve the issue we have because we are supposed to have only one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve only 12 spaces when we click on this we are supposed to have only 12 spaces but we're having over 64 spaces so we need to work on that so we go to our schedule under our project browser we right click we create on new schedule and quantities we go to rooms and we select rooms we select rooms we click on ok then we place our area and our room name we click both of them and we click ok now it automatically opens up for us okay now you can see this is where we have the issue now you can see a lot of not placed elements that we have here so we make sure we delete all of them this is where uh it's going to take us a lot of time so we just make sure we delete everything
Okay, so once we are done deleting everything, we go back, we cancel this, and we come back to our view where we have the room legend. We click on this room legend again and we click on edit and we see that this is what we are having. We still have a lot, quite a lot, but once you click on by value and it brings it down to uh 22. Now we can now make adjustments to what we have. You know, we have 14 here. The other values are for the first floor. Understand? So we can make use of this. Now you can see the kitchen. We want to change the kitchen. So we look for the kitchen. You can see we only have one kitchen. There are no longer two kitchens anywhere. So we click on this kitchen and we click on the color to change it. Let's say we want it to be red. Okay. Click on OK. We click on OK. And our kitchen automatically changes to the color red. Yeah, you see. Then, if for adventure, probably you don't want uh, the kitchen to be a solid fill, you want it to be like a pattern, you can also do that with this kitchen color red. You come under this solid fill and you change it. Let's say you want the pattern, you go and look for the pattern you want. Let's say you want it to be a concrete pattern. You click on concrete, you click on OK, and it automatically changes it to uh, a concrete uh, pattern. So, once you click it, you are going to see how it looks like. So, this is how. If you zoom out, you still feel it's a color red because of the scale of the concrete. But if you zoom in, you are going to see that it's now a concrete pattern. So this is how to create uh, room legends in Revit. If you find this video helpful or interesting, do well to give us a like. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to share this video to your colleagues and your friends because it helps. And also turn on the bell icon so that you get notified on when next we publish a new video. See you guys on the next video.